Despite recent oncology breakthroughs, conventional anti-cancer treatments may have limitations. Decades of dedicated research are resulting in the capacity to create a new generation of ADCs. ADCs are designed to combine monoclonal antibodies and their anti-cancer activities with potent cytotoxics. Can an ADC be greater than the sum of its parts? An ADC is a unique combination of a targeted monoclonal antibody, a stable linker, and a potent cytotoxic. ADCs are designed to selectively kill cancer cells while minimizing effects on normal tissue. These agents are under investigation in many different cancer types. Based on preclinical studies, monoclonal antibodies used in ADCs target antigens that are preferentially or exclusively expressed on the surface of cancer cells. Some monoclonal antibodies used in ADCs may possess their own anti-cancer activities. Monoclonal antibodies may retain these activities when integrated into an ADC. Stable linkers conjugate cytotoxics to monoclonal antibodies and are designed to allow ADCs to remain inactive while in circulation. Cytotoxics incorporated into ADCs can be up to 1,000-fold more potent than currently used chemotherapies. ADCs are designed to target antigens that are preferentially or exclusively expressed on the surface of cancer cells. ADCs have multiple proposed mechanisms of action. The monoclonal antibody component of an ADC may possess its own anti-cancer activities which may include prevention of signaling, antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity, ADCC, and induction of apoptosis. Upon binding to the target antigen, the ADC antigen complex may be internalized through a process known as receptor-mediated endocytosis. Based on preclinical models, internalization of the ADC antigen complex is followed by lysosomal degradation of the complex, resulting in release of the cytotoxic. The cytotoxic then interacts with critical cellular machinery to elicit cell death. Advanced ADCs represent a potential therapeutic approach.